it's higher, it's very, very possible. And uh, Melissa says, uh, they say, you know, you and Teresa will never reconcile. She says she won't. Uh, Teresa won't. Who asks Teresa? Was it? Did, who the hell asked her this? Somebody in that room. I don't think it was Margaret. And I certainly don't think it was. Maybe it was Dolores. I think it was Jackie, but um, they basically said, you know, it's clear that you are done with Melissa, but what about Margaret? Would you have reconciled with her? And she says, if she gets on her knees and begs me for forgiveness, I will forgive her. That is not going to happen. I do not see Margaret getting on her knees. Therefore, it is over with her and Teresa. Melissa says she's happy or she feels relieved. I believe you are relieved, uh, Melissa. Melissa. Then Melissa goes into, she's been on the show since 2010. I mean, man, 14 years. It is a big part of Melissa's life. It was a big part of Melissa's life. It was a big part of Teresa's life. It was a big part of Margaret's life, Dolores. It's over forever for these people. It's over for most of them, although some will be back. And if some do come back, it is still over for a very long time. I am going to do a show. And when I sit down and do the show, what I think is going to happen in New Jersey, every single person is going to be shocked about what I'm going to say. You're going to be shocked. And I have, yeah, you're just going to be shocked because I've really thought about it. And I just want to go with my thoughts and I'm not sure I'm right I really want it to be over, but I'm not really sure that that's what's going to happen. We think everything's going to be over. I've said everything's over and then it all comes back. So I am going to talk about that. Uh, Melissa says it's over. It's been so many years. Um, time to change, Jackie says. Uh, they said they feel we've seen the final blow between Teresa and Melissa. And... Uh, Dolores says we're no longer a group of friends and where things stand is where they'll stay. And uh, Dolores says, I hope not for fucking good. I agree. This group is no longer friends. Where things stand is where they stay. And I also hope not for good. I got to tell you, I really enjoyed, uh, you know, it's so toxic. I think it's funny that they decided to end on a high note and I think it's funny that Fessler had a song. At first, I was like, what the fuck is this? But her song was really funny, right? I liked Fessler's song. A couple of things have happened. Very good. And she said it best. Will season 14 happen or will it not happen? A couple of things have happened in the real world. We will skim over those. All this is just to be able to do a little... Oh, let me just sprinkle a little... OC in there. And I don't have to sprinkle any OC if we don't have time, but um, I'm really hoping to have time to talk some OC. Let's see where we uh, where we end up with this. Um, so basically, we all know about Louis' comments. He made a bunch of comments about Margaret and the son, and he has since given us a uh, apology. A lot of you thought that the apology was mostly about him or that he inserted himself and he really never should have, you know, made it about him. Like if you're apologizing to someone, just apologize. Don't make it about you and uh, don't say, you know, but I was being falsely accused of calling her son and this and that. Listen, dude, um, are you apologizing to the woman or not? Because if you're apologizing, you should just apologize and just leave it there, right? So there's that. Teresa has stood by him. Uh, Louis has also made some very strange remarks, which I covered with Melissa's old nose about, um, about uh, the daughters and thongs and basically this and that a lot of mixed opinions, lots of people not happy with this. A lot of people are like, you know, listen to the whole podcast. That's not what Louis was saying. Uh, he's not toxic. He's not dangerous. Uh, basically just repeating what Teresa has said. So, um, Melissa Zoll knows, and I uh, have talked about this ad nauseum. So basically, if you want to know my thoughts on this 
and Louie and all of that, all you have to do is go to those episodes because who really wants to regurgitate all of that stuff, right? I'm not so sure that I want to regurgitate all of that stuff myself, right? Um, let's see. A fest. Rachel's pregnant. Fessler, and uh, she has been unfollowed by um Jennifer and Teresa. Apparently, they saw what was um what was taking place and uh, how Fessler has kind of changed her tune during the season. And she has been unfollowed by Jennifer and Teresa. Are you sad about that? Jennifer Fessler. She's clearly with Margaret. She's not going to speak out against her. Gia has done an interview and spoken out um, saying that she makes her own money, everybody. And also um, just because she lives with her parents doesn't mean anything. And by the way, she has also said she doesn't understand why people are in such an outrage every time she speaks up that she is, yes, she is a child when she started the show, but she is now an adult. So every time someone says, why is she speaking? She's an adult. That is why she's speaking. And she wants you all to know that. And she understands that y'all see her as a kid still. Um, the most interesting thing is a Juice a Juice Joe has spoken out about Louis. He has spoken out about Louis. And he says, uh, you know, because the whole thing with it's not just the known the pajamas, it's the whole thing about the thongs. And he's like, Yeah, you know, yeah, I know he kind of comes across as weird, but uh he's a good guy, you know. I met him a few times, but uh he ain't that weird. Leave the guy alone. Now, of course, the anti-Teresa people are saying that uh, this is Gia. That's Miss uh, Gia Giudice has written these responses for the dad, that she is the one posting all this for the dad. And when Juicy says, hey, leave the guy alone, he's not that bad, that it is truly Gia working his social media, which if that is the case, then... Um, Man, first of all, Teresa is getting a desperado. Louis tried to do the statement of apology and all this other stuff, and then this and that. And then, yeah, he did say the stuff on the podcast. But I mean, if we're turning to Juicy and we're Teresa's camp, we're pretty damn desperate. Did Gia write this? I don't know. Who the hell knows? Uh, the rat, the rat that scurries. She is a, such a freaking rat these days she is in the corner she's looking for a piece of gouda her eyes are fucking rolled in the back of her head because she is so thirsty and hungry the rat that scurries some of you refer to her as the tam rat the tail goes Ch -ch -ch. well let me just tell you that the tam rat has not found a piece of gouda in a weeks the tam rat is thirsty Tia Dodd or Mellencamp is not speaking to her because she cannot speak about the season of OC while it is going on. So the Tamrat is thirsty. The Tamrat is hungry. The Tamrat is hungrier than normal. And the Tamrat has come out and said that she finds Dolores's behavior very, very suspicious. That when someone has such a strong reaction to something the way Dolores did to Margaret, and she used that see you next word over and over and over, the rat that scurries says a strong reaction like that means something is weird. They're hiding something. This girl, this rat known as the Tam, known as the Tam Rat, who scurries in the corner looking for a damn crumb. One freaking fucking season on Traders, and girl, you think you know it all, don't you? Well, I kid, Tam. I kid, Miss Rat. I kid on you. Would I rather be stuck in an elevator with a rat that scurries or the insane, psychotic, psychotic, behavior known as Kelly Dodd. I don't know. I actually don't know. Could I be stuck in an elevator for a week with Heather Dubrow versus one hour with the psychotic Kelly Dodd or one hour with the rat that scurries? I would choose that week with Miss Dubrow. But if I had to pick between crazy Kelly and the poor woman has lost her mind or the rat that scurries, I don't know who I would pick. I really don't. So let's not make that decision today. 
I will do a show on what I think is the future of New Jersey. I need to just get a little bit of distance from this. My opinion will not change, but let's just breathe. Let's do a few minutes of RHOC and then we can wrap up. Um, it's got to be less toxic. We have so much else going on. We have a lot coming on to Patreon. 